This is the last section before the waterfall. It's not very far back there. It just takes a few minutes to get down this path. And that first pool there is about three or four times bigger than that just a couple weeks ago. It's rained a lot this year. So I've got a flashing light there, and the front camera, and the, my camera is it on. It's hard to see. Yes, I got simultaneous camera action. This is a two camera shoot. The first time that I'd ever come out here it was in April. Waterfall was effectively dry. It just hadn't rained in two or three months, and I didn't really expect there to be any flow. I went on back there anyway, and filmed a little bit with my cell phone. I might put that in after I'm done with this in the editor. Show you what it looks like when it hasn't rained in quite a while and the waterfall's dry. The very last time I came out here, there were some kids that came out here on their dirt bikes and they were down there. So the eight times that I've come here, only twice have I ever seen anybody else. So and I also came on gloomier days where ooh, we still got still got some pools of water. I came out here on gloomier days and I've never come out here on a clear day late morning with the bright sun on the path with all the dark shadows from the trees. It's kind of cool looking. But yeah, I do like to go jungle trekking and up here in a little bit, there's a couple of crisscross dips in the road. They don't look all that deep on an action camera. Yeah, still still got some pools of water. This action cameras kind of widen things out to get a bigger field of view. But they're a little deeper than you might think. They get your attention. And the first part, it kind of slopes from high right to low left and then from high left to low right. And I think your tire might slip a little bit. This one's okay. The next one's a little deeper. Yeah, you always get by it okay, but right here you get a little, uh, that's okay. And that, that just slopes more to the side than it looks. And the path's a little beat up up here down the middle, so I just, I'll kind of hang over to the right. And it's not much further down, and I, I really don't think I'm going to see anybody down there today. Yeah, you'd expect to see more people when it's rained a lot and it stops for three or four days. That's the best time to come here, but... I'm seeing no tire marks on the ground. I, I really don't think I'm going to see anybody else down there. And there'll be an opening up here pretty soon. And go over to the left a little bit. And it's not far away. Again, a small waterfall. But I just think it's interesting that out in the middle of the jungle, there's a waterfall that most times you come out here, and you're the only one here. And that pool of water right there is pretty much always here. It's, it's a good sign. And you can't see. There's a big shady tree over there you got to get a little closer and see if there's anybody out here with their mountain bikes or anything and no oh good yeah i got the place to myself so i'll grab my cell phone and go video around it's gets better footage than the action camera so all right got the place to myself nice And this is what it looks like in April when it hasn't rained for two or three months. This is April, a little more than a year and a half ago. And the wall of the waterfall is still a little wet, but the ground's perfectly dry and the trees are a lot more overgrown. This was the very first time that I'd ever come here. Run. <laughs> 